Captain Ted Rock is here in his time for the great one, the YouTube People's Champ. Oh, to do another reaction. We are back with those brothers, RDC World One. Uh, the Lakers have uh, were just beaten a few nights ago by the Denver Nuggets. And um, the RDC, these brothers don't miss, wasted no time putting together they um, their reaction to everything, how the Lakers were when they lost to the Nuggets. Hi, J-Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in in in, in with the millions <laughs> and millions of J Rock fans from all over the world? That's right, J Rock. Is here. We're about to check out these brothers, RDC World One. Uh, their reaction to when the Lakers lost to the Nuggets. Um, you're not to subscribe to them. Go subscribe to them. Tell them J Rock, the great one, sent you. But we're not gonna waste some more time, baby. Showtime. Jamal Murray hit, hit him with that fade. Terry and Prince, Lord have mercy. This is what y'all trying to do, huh? Y'all trying to get me swept again? Man, watch, no, watch out, LeBron. I got this, because this is ridiculous. <laughs> Man, me, AD, and LeBron, we can't keep carrying y'all like this. Game, Spencer. Zero points in a playoff game? Man, I didn't think that shit was possible, man. Man, what the Yeah, you did, oh, D-Lo. You knew it was possible last year! No, 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 I'm talking about the D-Lo now. The D-Lo that's hanging with y'all. That's what I'm saying. D-Lo, you not hanging with us! Where are you getting this from? See? That's why I like LeBron. He's calling me out. Accountability. I needed that. You see, now, next game, boy, I'm about to go stupid, boy. I'm about to go crazy. Boy, I'm, the dog about to come out. They about to be like, why is there four players? In the dog on the court. <laughs> Meanwhile, the whole time it's me, D-Lo. <laughs> See, man, D-Lo on three, y'all. Come on. <laughs> this dude. All right, D-Lo. Yeah, let's go. Come on. One, two, three, D-Lo. I better hear that, too. Four players and a dog on the court. Dog, dog. Where's the at? Hey, calm down. Zero points? Where's the at? I know. When I keep my hands on that. Let it go, let it go, bro. We got like it's the last game. The last game? What yeah, you talking about? Yeah, you know what I meant, like that. No, no, I don't, AD. I don't. You know what? Forget that. Where's Rui at? Five oh. points, where's Rui at? Where's Rui at? You see Rui? Where's I gotta get my hands on something, cause I don't understand. AD, I don't understand. How am I gonna put a joint hooper like that? He ain't never hooping like that against nobody but me. How? Come on, man. This don't make no sense. I know the world said what's going on here. I know they do. We keep losing leads, AD. Darvin! Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I'm not the one playing basketball. Darvin, why is Spencer and Gabe with you? Oh, I just feel like these these my boys. What can you tell them niggas? Why do they keep forgetting the hoop? Why do y'all keep on forgetting how to hoop? Heck no. Darvin! I mean, I'm just saying, you just told me to ask. I'm... All right, Darvin. Hey, LeBron, I gave it everything I got. Okay, Austin. And they still won. Thanks, Austin. I appreciate hey, it. I'm, I'm starting to think they're just too good. There's a chance if you ask me. Nobody asked you, Austin! So shut up and shoot the damn ball for once! Gotcha. Are y'all serious? Is this team serious? This team full of comedians. That's why we can't win. They hoop us. And we the kings of goddamn time they'll win. You know what? If I get swept up, show up the big like ooh. Hey, when y'all see D-Lo, y'all see when y'all see D-Lo, I swear to God. Hey man, good shit out there, man. Oh, it's really locked this man, season. I thought so too. I'm trying to tell you. Hey Bron, Bron, man, you just can't be mad at us this time, I'm man. I'm not mad at y'all, D-Lo. Yeah, I'm saying you can't, because we all had like 10 points. We was all hooping out there. We was really doing our thing. I mean, 
you might as well just say that we just not good enough no more. We just gotta leave it up to Ant and the Timberwolves. And it's cold. That's what I'm saying. He hooping like Michael Jordan out there. <laughs> I think your time just up, LeBron. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying, man. Looking right now, bro. Man, Murray was going crazy. He hit two game winners on us. Bro, facts. And he just dumped on LeBron too, bro. Yeah, bro. He what dumped you on you, LeBron. Come on, man. That's hey. not supposed to be happening. Hey, who you calling? Hey, who is that? Oh, that's probably Bronny, bro. You know him. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. tell Bronny what's up. Bro, right, he's such a who? good daddy, bro. I aspire to be like. Steph. KD, I figured it out. I know what y'all thinking out there in Cancun. Y'all thinking we old, uh, it might be time for us to give it up. It's not us! It's not us, man! KD, you know what this nigga D-Lo just told me? He said that they was hooping because they got 10 points. That I can't say nothing to them. 10 points? You know what they would do to us if we had 10 points? Steph, KD, we not passing the torches to none of these niggas! Hold on, hold on, Steph! Never would have made it without. Hey, where is everybody? Where the lights off? Why, why the lights off? Dad! Sorry, ass won't taste you! Run out of the car! Jump out! Hey, hey, God damn, why y'all jumping me? What I do? What did you do? Man, man, just tell me what I did with that y'all don't like. Your rotations? You ain't never called time out. You wasn't listening to me when I said y'all was multiple calls. And why you keep playing Gabe and Spencer? Gabe's a good man. What they got to do with basketball, Darvin? I'm just saying, you just said it's just basketball, so, you know, I took it upon myself to give Gabe and spent some minutes. Hey, you need to listen to the coach. Oh, see? That's a good man. It's just basketball, Brian. That's all we're saying. Mm-hmm. It's just basketball. You know what? It is just basketball. Okay. Gabe, it's good basketball. It's good basketball. Sure. It's just basketball, Tony. Yeah. It's just basketball. It's just basketball. Just basketball. It's just basketball. Just basketball. It's basketball. Oh, 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 wow. It's just basketball. Y'all ain't gotta worry about me no more. It's, you know I need me like that. It's just basketball. So somebody was guarding us. Bro, KD, I'm not about to deal with this shit no more, man. You know what? I think my offense just don't fit this team. What you think, uh, coach? Wow. Still not saying nothing, just like the whole season. I think I'm gonna take my talents elsewhere. Man, oh. this nigga, bro. <laughs> well, J Rock says this. Obviously, um, Darvin Ham being fired. He got fired today. And obviously, you know, look, there were some things that happened on the court that, you know, 
you could say it had a lot to do with coaching. All right? But let's just be real. The Denver Nuggets were just better. It didn't matter what adjustments the Lakers would have made. Denver would have just out-adjusted them. They would have readjusted to their adjustments and still won. D'Lo could have played better. Somebody on the Nuggets would have played without played them. They're just better, man. Like, the multiple leads the Lakers kept giving up, they showed that, you know, losing these leads constantly to a, the same team over and over and over, it means you're just better. All right? So, everybody's blaming Darvin Ham. Okay, who gets the credit for going up 20? All right, who gets the credit for going up 20 points? Is it Darvin Ham or the player? Because if you want to say it's Darvin Ham, well, I guess he can't be that bad of a coach. He was coaching y'all to get you up 20. If you say it's the players, okay, well, the players got to be good enough to hold the lead. We all know it's a scapegoat. They blame Frank Vogel, even though he won a championship with him. Then they blame Russell Westbrook. They traded him. They brought in Darvin Ham. Now they play. Look, the fact of the matter is simply this. LeBron James, at age 39 years old, in his 21st season, he's not good enough anymore to carry a team like he used to. Okay? He's just not. All right? Anthony Davis, he's being praised for playing basketball because he is, he's been so physically fragile that when he actually plays 70 plus games, it's an accomplishment. And I want the mindset, but you're paid to play basketball. That's like me getting paid just to go to work. Like, damn, you showed up today. Here's some credit now. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to show up to work. And the amount of money that they're getting paid, like, seriously. So everybody wants to give him credit. I don't think that's nothing to brag about, personally. All right? And Anthony Davis is a phenomenal talent. He just doesn't have that mentality. Like, if you could pour Russell Westbrook into Anthony Davis, you'd probably have the greatest player of all time. He just doesn't have that mentality, right? To just be, to just want to, like Ant-Man said, just want to kill everything in front of him. And that's just not his mentality. He can play. I'm not saying AD's a scrub. AD is a bad, is a bad dude. But as far as, you know, him being the best player on a championship team uh, without the proper, you know, supporting cast, Nah, I don't buy it. And so they're gonna, they fired Darvin Ham. They're gonna bring another coach in who's either already coached and gotten criticized for it. They're gonna hire a new coach. Some people are thinking JJ Reddick should get the job. No, I don't think JJ, JJ can't coach that. Team. I'm not saying he shouldn't be a head coach, but I'm just of the mindset like, has JJ been an assistant? I don't say he's been a player, but he's been an assistant coach, right? Like, I don't know. Maybe he could do it. I don't know, right? Maybe he understands, but I just think that LeBron had more, having accomplished more in his career, and then you bring in J.J. Reddick, and I'm like, ugh, okay. He's definitely going to have to earn LeBron, 80s, and everybody those guys respect. Because Tyron Lue did it, but Tyron Lue had been an assistant under Doc Rivers for a while. So it wasn't like he was just starting coming out of nowhere. He had some experience as a coach. He was an assistant on the Cavs before they got rid of um, whoever that guy's name was. I don't remember. But anyway, the fact of the matter is, is that, and then KD and the Phoenix Suns, good Lord, they were just top heavy. I don't know why they didn't bring Bradley off the bench. He should have been a six man. To me, Bradley Beal, for what he's being paid and what's expected of him, he's overvalued in my opinion. Yeah, I understand he balled on with, with the Wizards. They were a bad team. They sucked. So, yeah, you're going to score a lot of points with a bad team. But when you get on a good team where you actually have to play meaningful basketball, that's really going to show what you can do. And I just don't think he is $50 million a year caliber player. He's constantly hurt. And when he plays, his team don't win. If that spells $50 million for y'all, y'all can have it. And so, KD wanted out of Brooklyn. He got out. He's in Phoenix. He got swept again. And all I'm going to say is this. 
I don't want to hear no more about KD being the best player in Golden State. Because he wasn't. If you think Kevin Durant was the best player in Golden State because he won back-to-back -back finals MVPs, guess what? Iguodala won a finals MVP playing with Steph. Okay? Argument could have been made. I thought Steph should have won the second one. But they're saying, well, he had a bad game three. Uh, it's the finals MVP, not the game three MVP. Okay? All right? But be that as it may, Steph showed he can win with and without Kevin Durant twice. He won just as much with him as he did without him. Kevin Durant can't even get out of the second round without Steph Curry. Some of them may not be all on him, but I'm just saying, Steph Curry is showing, bro, I can win. I don't need you to win. I can win. All right? And Kevin Durant swept again in the first round. That's all I'm saying. You know, that's all I'm saying. And I'm just going to leave it at that. But uh, with that being said, tell me what y'all think. RDC World 1, you brothers are hilarious, all right? Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what's our direction to this. Video no rhyme and tell on that line. If you enjoyed the great ones reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for my next video. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. Hit this man! What J-Rock?